guys, I thought I would just do a little review thing on the amazing book is not on fire even though it's backwards. If you're watching this, more than likely you're going to know what this is. But I just wanted to start this video out by I don't have anything to do with the book other than I bought it. So don't come after me with knives and pickaxes or whatever. <laughs> That's a bit grim. But um I read the book yesterday, read it in one day and starts off with a lovely half picture of Dan's head and then cute little collage thing right here. And then I really like it. And then one thing that I thought was really interesting here in the back was when they wrote fan fiction and me I'm all about fan fiction and stuff everything that Dan says about it I can absolutely agree with I would much rather have my daughter be writing than sorting crap with a hobo um, but if I can ever get to it I want robots Oh, well, we have Dance of the Urge, which is way too long to read. Here. We have The Hand. Now, I made my mom and dad read this, and they were horrified. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have. They're going to have nightmares now. But anytime you can read a story about Phil giving birth to Harry Styles, ovaries just... <sighs> but... Another thing that I did was I got tickets to go to the Amazing Tour is Not on Fire and I'm so excited and it's coming up at the end of next month and I'm like so excited and I've got get the opera seats to where I'm gonna be like right there and stuff and it's I was too late for the VIP and I'm really sad about that but hopefully maybe they'll come back someday and do another VIP and then I will know right then and get it but for now I'm just satisfied with being really close to where they are <laughs> good enough right but I mean I'm a little excited I have I've never ever been to one it's like it's so funny I have this thing where I get obsessed with something and by obsessed I don't mean like make a shrine and put candles up I mean just like I'll buy all their merch, I'll do this, I'll do that, which I'm sure they don't mind with me buying all their merch and stuff. And then, I've only been uh, watching their videos for about four months, which seems kind of like a long time, but most of the other YouTubers I've watched for over, like, two years and never gotten any other stuff, but it's just, it's not about the accent, because <laughs> I'm friends with British people, but, um... It's just how, like, they present themselves and stuff, like, some people are like, oh, hey, fan, awkward hug, but then it's more like, oh, hey, oh, this is a really neat drawing, oh, thanks, and then they appreciate it and stuff, which I really like, and I'm getting off topic, but really like it, and then, oh, let me show you, like, they have these different little things in here that are like just pictures of them and stuff but before I get into that we have this page which Phil talks about Dan and their like living situation and stuff and I am basically I'm, I'm Phil I'm not gonna lie I'm Phil oh man, I do all this I mean I'm just messy I mean like with the, I don't think he's ever made coffee without spilling any, enough sugar. It's not sugar that I spill, it's creamer. Just all over the counter, all over the floor, every time. I don't know if like I wake up in the morning and I'm drunk off my ass or something, <laughs> but I'm like, what? <laughs> but anyway, I really like that. And then, um, here's a beautiful picture. Dan right there. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, oh, this is probably one of my favorite things. This is the Jessica and Becky page. 
and really like that. It's like their little about me thing. But Dan could sure rock some t-shirt boobs, I'll tell you that much. And then I love how he Dan's room has an Ugg Becky thing on his door. You can't really see it, but I can, so you can look and then if I can ever find a good page. Ooh, I did take this quiz and I am happy to announce that along with my statement with being Phil, I am also blue chair. And blue chair is you are blue chair. Sorry that ninety percent of your life is taken up by Phil's butt. See, see, I mean, it, it's Phil's chair, I'm Phil's chair, I mean, it, it just works out. You prefer walks on the beach? Well, no, I, I don't walk. <laughs> well, I do, but not like long walks on the beach, because I'm not a romantic person at all. And then, crazy nightclubs, I would do a nightclub if I was, like, old enough to, and... Sometimes you sneeze and blink at the same time. Every single freaking time. Um, which is meant to be impossible. Don't tell the government or they'll experiment on you. No one tell the government. They don't need to know. And let's see here. He would make a great rocket scientist. Hmm. You make a great rocket scientist. Dog groomer, pet sitter, or FBI agent. I'm terrified of fire, guns, and and anything that has to do with the FBI and stuff and like crime. I'm like, ugh, I just want to stay in the van and drink hot cocoa. I don't want to go outside. <laughs> and unfortunately, that's not possible as you are a chair. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but another thing is, is that once you've taken the test, you can never take the test again. So, my answers for that is cheese or trees? Trees, hedgehog or hamster? And I said hedgehog. Do you believe in ghosts? No. Let's play video games. Yes. And I ended up with blue. See? Well, there's two things that you can do to get blue, but I took the amazing hedgehog ghost video game trees thing. <laughs> yeah, this is going so great. Oh, wow. It's already eight minutes. God just survived my rambling. But, um, oh. Now here's that beautiful, beautiful picture, and look, I go right along with it. It's just amazing. I didn't even plan that, actually. <laughs> that's that's how well the book knows me, I know the book. But just a bunch of just random little things in here that I absolutely adore. So, that is, the amazing book is not on fire for me. Um, I should have this up pretty soon and my editing will be terrible, so <laughs> may or may not leave that in or out, but this is my first video, yay! Because all the other ones I took down because I went through a really cringy scene phase. Anyway, that's me for you guys. Um, the, I just thought I'd do a little book review and stuff and be happy with that for right now and I'll figure out what else to do when I get there. But, maybe one day I'll get to do a collab with Dan and Phil someday, if I ever get <clears throat> big enough. <clears throat> so, tell your friends and family, your cat, your dog, that does wonders here now. So, never really did say my name. Don't really have an intro or outro either. So, bye!